and spring that you go and vegan or think that's a responsible choice. Yeah, I'm trying to cut down on meat. Why do you have to raise your voice? No, I don't want to watch that film of pigs getting slaughtered again. You said you just wanted to play Mario Party and get high. Let's stick to that plan. Sure, you can be Waluigi. I'll be Princess Daisy and well, no, I don't think you have an advantage just because you're going vegan. Mario Party is pretty much entirely a game of chance and being vegan doesn't give you superpowers. Yes, I know. I just ain't poor. <laughs> Oh, this is Garbage Day, <laughs> our number 11. Uh, as a note, uh, at some point uh, when this is over, we will once again be uh, selling audio cassettes of the Music of Garbage Day. There will also be a band camp down the road, uh, but the Music of Garbage Day will be available to you because uh, there is now a button that makes me play the theme song again, and I am resisting <laughs> they should do that. <laughs> because I want to uh, introduce uh, a donation incentive. Uh, we got a donation incentive right here, and um, uh, it's by Bump Girl. Uh, and what the fuck? What is this, Bump Girl? What what is what is this? What? Well, if you thought all the other donation incentives weren't nerdy enough, then then this I might be the one for that. you. Um, <laughs> see, see, I knew someone would think it. Yeah. Uh, as some of you may know, um, and some of you in this very call may know. Uh, there is a small spin-off clique in uh, the uh, ball pit slash F plus uh, universe uh, known as the Minecraft server uh, Bump Girls Fiefdom. And uh, the Minecraft server has been enjoying a minor renaissance lately. And uh, we're excited to announce that if you if you donate, um, whether or not you play Minecraft, um, you can have a sky high monument built in honor of your avatar and also in the generic style of your avatar. All right. And uh, what, what does the word sky mean in this case? Cause like sky is sky could be anything. Well, so sky is skybox, sky um, oh. which is the top of the world level um, for the overworld uh, layer of the Minecraft map. So this isn't in the nether and this isn't in the end, which we've just recently discovered. Um, uh, this is very, very, very tall. That's what sky high means. All right, uh, and twenty-five dollars right now will get you a sky-high monument commemorating your avatar's style built on the Minecraft server. Uh, twenty-five dollars. Uh, first person uh, that bids on that uh, will get that thing. Uh, I'm looking at a document here, which was compiled by Lizbiathan and the Heavenator, uh, and it's called "Meat Tastes Better If You Castrate It First. <laughs> 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 um uh my, the uh, the very first thing that happens in the document um is a is a screenshot of a Bing search and I believe that's how they found this this site uh which was they went to Bing and they searched for my hands they're made of ham <laughs> uh, and they ended up at veggieboards.com <laughs> So, uh, so we're going to be going to the veggieboards.com and, uh, yeah, I think let's just dig right in. So, uh, mm. uh, Bump Girl, you're going to be Avril in just a moment, uh, but I have a question for you. Ooh, prize claim. Thank you so much, Dr. Buttplug. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Bump Girl, you're going to be making a Minecraft butt plug. Oh, also an Oscar ugly face butt plug. You're going to make two separate butt plugs, two separate Minecraft. I don't even recognize those as Minecraft people, so that thank you. Thank you, non Minecrafters, for for, for F plusing up and ball pitting up our uh, Minecraft server even more. Uh, Oscar Ugly Face and Doctor Buttplug both getting uh, Minecraft uh, thingies. Um, anyway, uh, support yep. for vegetarians, vegans, and raw foods. Does it annoy you? I'm Ashalicious. Um, Y'all aren't ready for my ash. Uh, <laughs> how many omnivores worship bacon? Seriously. <laughs> They all seem to have it up on a pedestal, and I just don't get it. Even when I eat meat, I thought bacon was far overrated. Bacon this, bacon that. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll say that shit out loud. Dude, that's that's bacon you're talking to, man. <laughs> you can't say that. God almighty. Oh, well, don't worry. Oh, Avril is here to defend you. Okay. Avril. 
Avril, I, Avril, says, uh, bacon has been marketed as a rebellious food in an anti-intellectual culture. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Skateboarding. <laughs> Someone take, that cops and, take that, cops and teachers. I'm skateboarding on some bacon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bakeboarding. <laughs> you say it's bad for me? I'm going to eat as much of it as possible. Also, it quotes macho, unquote. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Macho heart disease. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna clog my artery. <laughs> I do like bacon all that much either, in spite of everything I just said. But when I was an omnivore, I did find what cooking stuff in bacon fat did for a whole host of things to be rather amazing. Now I think it was just the smoke plus salt, plus saturated fat thing, but I haven't tried to replicate it. <laughs> mm. uh, and then, Bunny Bread, you got uh, Silva? Mm-hmm. Hey, everybody! Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. you a little bit about oh, bacon. <laughs> All right, so, so, so bacon was both the nastiest tasting meat and the best. <laughs> huh. I remember saying how hard it smelled when I used to work on, uh, and, and well, I used to work, period. And the women said it uh, because they didn't castrate the pig, right? <laughs> she grew up on a farm and took it as a normal thing. But, but to me, it was one of them things that led to me giving up on meat altogether. The idea that someone could think hard enough to do a medical procedure on the AA animal to make it tastier was just so barbaric, y'all. Oh, man. Oh, man. I do, though, like the smokiness, saltiness, the fattiness, the Mm -hmm. ugliness, Uh the grossness. Uh 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 Turn around. Food boner. I can get that from marinade tempeh, tofu, or eggplant barbecue chips, you know, all that shit, crisp, all this. So many plants. Tempe, definitely the taste of bacon for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like bacon pretty much if you keep your eyes closed and don't yeah, eat it. Like you will not be able. To, well, is this a, is this bacon or is this an olive? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's texture. They're pretty much identical. You can take the pig out of the bacon and still have the taste. Mm-hmm. Can't you? Like what I said, and so it must be true. Another reason why I hate people saying you can't have that vegan bacon because it's about the pig. B F exclamation point. Take the seasoning and aging out of bacon, and all you got is a bloody piece of flesh. Yeah, no, that's true. true. That's true. Like if you ever go to like a Korean or Vietnamese place and you eat mm-hmm. uh, uh pork belly, it's just like yeah. oh gross. I certainly don't want a pound of this. <laughs> there you go, baby. Mm-hmm. Olives, that's where it's at. Nice bacon is made of meat. Why isn't anybody talking about this? <laughs> Hey, so apparently all that matters is that it's full of salt, fat, and smoke. <laughs> Zarla, I'm so excited you're here. Can you tell me about some of the stupid things that omnivores say? Okay, so, let's see. Uh, sorry, just, I have to think because I have, like, such an enormously long list. I have to unfurl the <laughs> scroll and find the place where I left yeah. off. Since I moved to L.A., I don't get nearly as many stupid quotes, either because people are more educated out here or just more common to meet a veg beep n Or like, was it veg starin veg starin That's yeah, it. Uh, no, veg starin I, sw- <laughs> I still get weird interactions. The L.A. version is just a little different. Instead of telling someone I'm a vegetarian and they respond, well, that's dumb. You need meat. It's usually <laughs> educated questions and genuine concern that I'm not just eating Kraft mac and cheese all day, every day. However, recently I was out to dinner with a friend and their parent. I the don't parent- believe you. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> 7271. Accusing a vegetarian of lying. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Sorry, pal. Slander. The parents were buying us food, which was very nice. But as it does, my diet came up. I'm gonna take some creative liberties with the exchange, but it basically went something like this. Okay, I'll be your I'll be your parent. I'll be your parent. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. So you don't eat any meat at all? What, what about seafood? <laughs> I never really ate seafood, even before going vegetarian, except chowder. I don't really like it. 
but you're from New England. Yeah, I know. I'm weird, I guess. Well, my philosophy is that I always try everything at least twice. Just something to think about. Really nice that you gave me the last word in your post. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I died at that point. <laughs> I never came it's unusually in. kind for an internet poster. <laughs> God, I love that, but you're from New England. It's like, yeah, why do you think I was kicked out? <laughs> I, like yeah, that that right. out. <laughs> I like that that's the creative liberties version of the story because, like, yeah. that's either like it was a boring story, but oh, I decided yeah. to zazz it up. <laughs> it was, it was really that's true. Dynamic. <laughs> JT's here. Hey. Hi. What's going on? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Uh, my name is Forever a Spirit. Talk about just fucking rude. Okay, guys, sorry. I'm just a little heated right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my guy friend invited me to come and to get some nighttime food with him. I had nothing else to do, so I decided to tag along. We're usually fairly good friends, but sometimes what he says is so out of line. Everything was fine, and it usually is because I have gotten food with him before, even though I despise how he eats a cheeseburger spelled with a Z. Eat a Taking a time machine back to the mid two thousands here. Yeah, he holds it. He holds it a He holds it vertically. It's really weird. Oh, okay. that was actually. <laughs> it's invisible, right? Anyway, anyway, he was getting all his stuff to put together a cheeseburger, and he commented to me about how he got into an argument with a vegetarian, and it reminded him of me. Okay, that's where I knew the conversation would get iffy. He starts to say that he knows he is right and I'm wrong, but he knows I like to think that I'm right. Okay, I'll be uh, I'll be the friend if you like. Sure, go ahead. Okay, you like to think you're right. I believe in rights for all beings. I don't think there is anything to argue there. Uh, oh, and then uncredited. Is that, is that you? I think it's <laughs> you. Text. Uh, I, I'm sorry, the stage directions are really bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. He said something about being able to take advantage of other beings. You're raping your food? <laughs> Give me their souls. <laughs> well, you wouldn't like your rights taken away, so why would you do that to others? Go into biology or something and get animals to talk so we can understand them, and maybe I'll stop eating them. Your move. <laughs> Professor, you've gone into biology. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they don't need to talk for us to respect them. Listen, if you listen, they actually do communicate with us. Uh, state. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm speaking again, even though I'm not <laughs> true for some animals. Narrator. Uh, hear this. Hear this guy. Has... Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> here, this guy has told me how he has held a chicken, and at a point, he did feel a bit bad for eating them. But lo and behold, here he is trying to be act like humans. Are the shit. But some animals <laughs> like to be dominated. Ooh, I'm the best. Yeah. I'm the best. I went in a different direction than I anticipated. I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> I don't think you have a place to say that for them. <laughs> but you do. Uh, he said something about, oh, uh, yes, I, I definitely do. He <laughs> said something about cows either needing to be dominated or. Not needing to, I forget which, but I was already <laughs> scratching my arm in nervousness, contemplating leaving. But they do taste good. See these canines? I'm right in your face. Like my mouth, <laughs> my, my mouth is like wide open. You, you taste with your canines? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> these right, that... canines were meant for meat. He kept pointing to his teeth. <laughs> yeah, look! Look! Look at them! <laughs> At that point, I was just beyond myself. Here I came with my friend to keep him company while he got food, and he just downright degrades me and everything I stand for. When you degrade and devalue the animals, you also degrade me because I'm a part of them. I see their pain and I feel it in my own heart. I just said, I think I'll head back, and I turned around to leave. Uh, you won't, but you can if you want. I, what? Damn. <laughs> yeah, showed him. <laughs> and I what happened. Me and, like my, 
<laughs> Me and my canines will be waiting for you. Kelly <laughs> <laughs> started out this argument with, you like to think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes, I suppose he probably does. I think most people do. <laughs> uh, and then you posted a lot. You just oh, like, yeah, I definitely, there's a lot friend. here. Like, rather than talk to your friend, you just decided to post on this board about your friend. Uh, oh if you'll just skip the next one and, and uh, go to, here's what I wrote to him in a message. Okay, here we go. So uh, here is what I wrote to my friend in a message that I, uh, I put on his door. Paper closed out of courtesy, <laughs> even though he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> the 95, like a dorm? What is this? The 95 vegan theses. You put a wax seal on it and said, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get to have me as a friend if you are going to act like a dick. Yeah. I'm sick of you talking about the animals as if they are worthless pieces of star, 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 star here only to please your taste buds. <laughs> what hurts me is being with people whom I generally consider good hearted and then hearing them make comments that are of the same nature of sexism, racism, and every other form of oppression. Oh, it hurts me. That's the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ra- Dude, don't download racism. It's not <laughs> worth it. Racism is good. It hurts me that by showing a compassionate alternative, many attack my views and refuse to change themselves, taking their stances of eating animals to their grave. It hurts me knowing that if I was an animal, you'd treat me as inferior. And no. I can't tell you this in person as it's not in my nature to go off on people. Oh, yeah. Of no, it's not on paper yet. Seem to be. It would hurt me to do so regardless of whether the person deserves it. <laughs> I can't have this... <laughs> well, I hope you don't want... insult their attention span soon. We well, don't want this to be awkward and socially weird, so this sign that I'm posting on your dorm at 2 a.m. won't lead to that as well. <laughs> yeah. These rocks that I'm throwing at your window, it's not going to be a problem. If if this is too long for you to read, that's a shame. People generally make whatever excuses for not taking heed to an individual who tries to make the world a better place so they don't have to acknowledge their message and thus feel responsible for their actions. We got some pronoun antecedent problems in here. Any grammar nerds out there? Mm -hmm. Like, I can't follow this. Who's responsible for what? That definitely sounded wrong. (laughs) <laughs> and they and like I, this is like the like I have a friend who doesn't want to acknowledge their message and then feel responsible for my actions. Wait, what? <laughs> and then uh, uh, toast uh, the very last thing in this uh, thread is by Dana Scully six Dana Sc- Dan Dana Dana Scully. I am I am the next <laughs> Scully sixty four. <laughs> Play it loud. Assimilate. <laughs> Isn't it sad that we feel like we can't put vegetarianism stickers on our property because of rude people? I have a veggie decal on my car. It hasn't incited a riot yet. Tongue3.gif. <laughs> Does that mean every Christian wearing a cross or with a Christian sticker on their property is asking for a fight? No. I still touch him, though. Every time I hear your statement that you've made there is, isn't it sad that we can't put vegetarian stickers on our cars? I have a vegetarian sticker on my car. That's and it's been fine. Right and there. it hasn't had any problems. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Also, happened. incidentally, <laughs> how about those Christians? You just can't have one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get rid of my uh, car. Uh, Lou... Yes. Uh, I've heard. I've heard that you, by which I mean NS NMS five six three. Uh, I've heard that you need help on dealing with your meat eating family. Let me let me find out where I feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> meat dash eating. Oh yes, I find. <laughs> Hi there, everyone. I'm pretty peaceful. I'm a I'm a pretty peaceful vegetarian, and I like to keep to myself. Meaning, I don't like pushing my lifestyle onto others so i feel like in a way i deserve the same respect my family despite knowing i've been a vegetarian for a year now continue to say and do obliviously rude things and pretend like they forgot i don't eat meat for example i visited my family for thanksgiving and my dad proceeded to tell me about how his son killed a deer and how the meat is great etc and proceeded to try and show me It was the first time I snapped at him because again, I turn a blind eye even while they're eating turkey or any meat in front of me. Let me show you. Let me show you. 
<laughs> Coming to the basement. <laughs> because it grosses me out and I don't have a, but I don't have a right to tell them what to eat in their own house. So anyway, I yelled at him and told him he knows I'm a vegetarian and I find it incredibly disrespectful that he does things like that to me. All he does is smile and laugh about it. My okay. family will do similar things to me when I visit, like offer me food with meat in it and laugh and tell me it's really good. And I, I just fork, force a fake laugh and say, no, thank you. Ha ha. <laughs> How do you guys deal with family who pushes meat onto you or do rude things like that? I try to stress to them that it really grosses me out and hurts my feelings when they do that. They'll apologize, but they'll do the same thing the next time. So frustrating. Sounds frustrating. I've got some generic advice. Wait three oh. years, turn 18, and move out. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious, like, that is that is kind of shitty on the on the parents side but it's obvious they keep doing it because it riles this person up <laughs> like <laughs> they wouldn't give a shit if it's just like you and me no thanks it's like oh okay <laughs> but the fact that it's just like hey you want a burger it's just like <laughs> uh, i'm trying not to punch your soul out of your body right now thank you uh i have a uh, another donation incentive to give you um uh as as you might know uh i am the owner of uh <laughs> <laughs> I own all three of them. Uh, I, are the you owner, them Bob? I am the owner of uh, Trumps.pw, uh, a domain that I've said that I will keep until it stops being funny. And I really <laughs> wish that time was long ago. Uh, but uh, on Trumps.pw is a, a website where you can guess the passwords uh, of the Trump family. Uh, and one of them that I have not tried is this particular uh, postcard uh, that Lou here uh, has made. Uh, so, uh, so Lou, you want to give this thing out, right? Sure. I All right. Mail, what do you, I will what do you mail think, that what do you to anybody. It is a postcard size painting that I made and it will, I will mail it to you with an inscription. All right. Uh, what do you, what price do you want to put on this? Oh, I, this is, I, I have no personal ability to value my own work. All right. $50. It is. <laughs> $50. <laughs> $50. Uh, and, uh, first donation of $50 or over gets a, uh, a, a password fist fuck, uh, <laughs> postcard. But, uh, Zarla, mm -hmm. uh, this is, um, this is something that, uh, you've, you've, you've texted me about a lot. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, and, and, and I think that this is probably the forum to get you <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. It's a recurring concern of mine. Amazing. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Public Enemy number six already claiming that fucking prize. Hell hey, yeah! Good for you, Public Enemy number six. Thank uh, you. Yeah, yeah. Public Enemy number six is about to have a whole Lou uh, art collection. <laughs> uh, thank you so very much for the donation. Uh, the National Network of Abortion Funds uh, appreciates it. Um, uh, Zarla, you need um, uh, Applebee's help. Yeah, <laughs> help with Applebee's. So, so a group of friends recently invited me to go to Applebee's next week before an event. Applebee's is honestly one of my least favorite restaurants, and I think I've been there only once since becoming vegetarian because of their limit of veg items. What? I checked and found some guides for vegetarians. On the number of veg you can get, like yeah. only two celery, not three. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> limit I mean, of veg to, items. Hey. <laughs> you got inventory to keep track of. <laughs> <clears throat> I checked and found some guides for vegetarians at Applebee's, but they seem kind of outdated because they list things that are nowhere on the menu. Have any of you been here recently and found something good to order? I was thinking of getting the Italian chicken and portobello sandwich without the chicken, or my usual baked potato with steamed veggies, and mm, having a hard time at Omni restaurants. <laughs> you think an Omni restaurant would have everything you'd need. Yeah. <laughs> Come to Omni restaurant. <laughs> It's like the Taco Bell in uh, Demolition Man. Our menu, everything. <laughs> Go to an Omni restaurant. <laughs> All you heart desires. They also have a chicken, a chicken fajita roll-up that I could get without chicken, but it seems like it wouldn't have enough in it. Have any of you gotten any of these things recently or know of any other good things to get? It wouldn't have enough chicken to get it without chicken? Right. Just be yeah. a tortilla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Shit. 
Oh, um, <laughs> hey, I've never been to Applebee's, uh, so I'm sure they're supposed to be fairly useless. But <laughs> if you can order or find something like a chicken fajita roll up and then ask for extra veggies instead of chicken, uh, or order a side of veggies and stick them in yourself, just jam it in that shit. <laughs> that might be an option, right? You know? <laughs> I feel like restaurants like that, they usually have a selection of large dinner salads, right? So just order one of those and then a big old tortilla Ooh, and then, uh, yeah, film it and yeah, yeah, yeah you get one fast, of those neat, fast casual food. dining salads. Mm -mm. Hell <laughs> yeah, baby. God almighty. You get some nice craft singles on there. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hello. Uh, hey, my, what's up? Hi. Uh, my, my name is uh, Penny79. I got a plate of spinach last time I was there. What? <laughs> you must have ordered off the secret menu. God damn. <laughs> Look at the king over here. Get Fucking Rockefeller. <laughs> they, they bring you like a whole plate of spinach? Like the whole thing filled? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Was it creamed or cooked or anything? No, it was just a plate of spinach. It was just a It was just a uh, like, hundred dollars. <laughs> It was just a tea saucer with a can of like Popeye spinach there. So, yeah, <laughs> unopened, unopened. Yeah, so, 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 so money bread. Um, uh -huh. You, uh, you uh, have a question here, and I'm just gonna post that question right there in the Discord chat. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's all. That's all. Oh, okay. Well, why don't I uh, think long and hard about uh, those things that I'm thinking about? Mm -hmm. uh, music, there we go. Boy, I sure do like thinking. All right, all right. Stretch those brain muscles. <laughs> Hi, my name is Music Baby's Kids. <laughs> oh no, those, ah! are, those are Music Baby's Kids. <laughs> Hi all. I am new with raw food. I'm loving it, loving it. I've been eating raw for about a week plus. A few days ago, I started experiencing a very itchy case of the rectal itching. You know. <laughs> Asshole, you got it. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Your butt. No. What, what are you talking right? about? Wait, uh, what are you talking about? It, it's your butthole. Oh, yeah. okay. It's the rectal area, the place where your poop comes out. Okay. <laughs> so I did not have this problem before starting raw foods. Has anyone else had this problem after starting raw foods? I know many people have had this problem before starting raw food and then, then, then after starting the raw food and then they, they experience relief uh, before the, the raw food. <laughs> so why am I having it now after the raw food? <laughs> My diet currently consists of green smoothies, fruits and veggies, not too much fat. I am 100% raw most days. On the days yeah. I am not, I am still about 90% raw in eating cooked vegetarian foods on the other days. I was thinking maybe, maybe because I picked up a, a case of parasites, perhaps, from not washing my veggies and fruits. That probably has nothing to do with it. <laughs> washing doesn't make anything less raw. Why aren't you not washing them before you eat them? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, where were you three weeks ago? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> level. Okay, so I'm you know, to get the real <laughs> raw experience. You got to get those pesticides in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like Monday night on WWE. Okay, I was told that some people think you get B12 from the tiny insects on fruits and veggies. Uh huh. So, so not to wash and scrub them clean. See, I told you I had a fucking reason. Two days. So, shut up. So two as days. As a vegetarian, you want to eat insects. Gotcha. As, two you know, days. They're animals. They're plants. Right. Okay. No, so eat, no, eat the insects. I eat raw food. That means I'm better than you. Two okay, days. Oh, it sucks. It sucks. are good for you. God damn it. Mm. Two days. <laughs> two days after I started itching, my husband complained of rectal itching too. Huh? <laughs> we were going ass to ass with our dildos. I'm sure that has nothing to do with it. It's been back and forth forever. Woo! We had not had uh, relations since I started being itchy. Uh, so, yeah, no pegging for him. I've been feeding him the green smoothies uh, with the unwashed organic veggies lately. He still eats mostly cooked foods with the dairy and some meat. You know, you know, husbands, huh? So we finished. Because of unwashed fruits and veggies, will it go away on its own if I keep eating a healthy diet? Are we expelling parasites now? If we are, if we are expelling them, shouldn't they be dead? Huh? 
I have also been taking a probiotic for the last two weeks. Should that help? Huh? I know itchy asshole is a sign of low HCL. But then I didn't have this itchy problem before the green smoothies. So why should I be experiencing it now? Huh? Anyways, I would love to hear your ideas, thoughts, and insights. Oh, 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 wait, one more thing. I had thought to rub coconut oil down there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> And a little bit internally because of its antimicrobial properties, et cetera, et cetera. Would that help or be bad in any way? Uh, you know. I like, you know? Your, I like your scientific zeal where you go, I started drinking green smoothies. They gave me an itchy asshole. So then I gave it to my husband. He got an itchy asshole. Is the green smoothies causing the itchy asshole? Oh, no, we can't. I think oh, we need hey. a larger sample size. Yeah, I got to give it to everybody I know. Check on their assholes. Uh, not drinking them is not an option. Yeah, I, forgot, I forgot to leave out that they stopped wiping. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that wouldn't be so raw it's not food that they didn't wiping. wash the parasites off the fruit. It's that yeah. they let them grow in their ass. In your by... asshole. Well, that's that's the the movement, isn't that all about? I just I I wasn't reading all the materials, but uh, we got yeah. uh, we got we got one more reading in this section, but before we do that, uh, Bunny Bread uh, very recently informed me that he wants to compose a song for you. <laughs> no, I don't. That's right. That's right. If you donate thirty dollars, oh my god, it's already it's already claimed. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Wait, that didn't work. No, no, that, that 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 no, I'm clearing that. No, um, number six is hoarding everything. I'll compose a rap. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so, so Bunny Bread wants to compose a song for you. Uh, if you give the National Network of Abortion Funds thirty-five dollars, uh, Bunny Bread will compose a song for you. You're going to give him fuck. It seems to be broken. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, in a moment, I'm going to do that. Uh, Bump Girl, what do you got to read? Uh, I'm having problems with yoga. All right. Uh, my name is Ashley Dawn. I've been doing yoga for about eight months now. I've mainly learned from a bunch of tapes, but also from magazines and websites. i have been using all the technology. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy doing the challenges and peace you get from <laughs> yoga. But as I get into harder moves, something it getting in the way. My boobs! <laughs> <laughs> I have big boobs! Oh, and you can't in the the <laughs> Kids in the it's really a pain in the butt! <laughs> My boobs! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Call back to rectal itching. When I do some poses, I feel like I'm going to suffocate. Has anyone had this problem? Any advice on what to do? Oh, somebody's somebody's about three days away from opening up a Clips for Sale channel. <laughs> <laughs> like bras to try or anything? You haven't tried a bra yet at all? I, oh, yeah, I was like that might. My, I was like that might help solve the problem. Is the slightest bit by wearing a bra. God, this is the hippiest thing I've been into in a long time. Anyway, I'm sorry if this is a dumb thread and it no. should be in the women's forum. Yeah, okay. but please yeah, help. Tommy. Because it makes me sad that I can't advance in certain poses because of my chest. Anyway, add me on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this one more time. I think this one will work this time. Uh, if you donate 35 there we go. Uh, if you donate $35 or more to the National Network of Abortion Funds, first person donate, uh, you name the song, uh, and Bunny Bread will give you that song in an MP3 format. There you go. Uh, that is the confines. As far as the actual, oh my god! <laughs> I'm not even done explaining the premise. Oh my god! <laughs> I got a lot. Somebody uh, like uh, you're, you're, well, we know you're doing two songs at least. No, no. All right. All right. Let's see if we can get this. El let's see if we can get this EP into an album. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to uh, add these to the uh, master list. As far as the actual fulfillment of the donation incentives, that is a deal for another day, but we'll basically email you. It'll be fine. We'll, we'll yeah. figure it out. It'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we're going to move now to the uh, recipe section. And uh, JT, you have a recipe for us, don't you? Yeah, I do. Uh, hey, I got some uh, amazing Italian meatballs here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is in category raw foods because you know when you eat your meatballs, the best way to eat them is to eat them raw. Keep them raw. Uh, this is suitable for a vegan diet. Ingredients: uh, twelve ounce white button mushrooms, 
three quarter cup walnuts, two tablespoons Italian seasoning, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon Celtic sea salt. Oh. Go Celtics! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one small red pepper and one small tomato. All right, so instructions. Blend all the ingredients together in the food processor. Drop them on the Teflex sheets in little meatball size. I'm using quotes, balls. Uh, so you want your balls the size of walls? You, <laughs> yes, you, you, want a, you want a large meatball the size of a small meatball. Got it. All right. <laughs> Shall I continue? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the the stream yeah. I want to yeah. hear about these meatballs. I'm I'm right. Right. Here we go. Fucking meatballs over here. Get out of here with that. Get out with it. All right, all right. So I should point out here when you're when you're making the meatballs, uh, they won't actually form a real ball. What the fuck are you calling a meatball for? You lying bastard. <laughs> Call them meat orbs. Yeah, meat orbs. <laughs> You're meat orbs. Make a ball. They're not meat make orbs. orbs. They're just gonna yeah, be a bunch orbs. of like dried out grit. <laughs> There's nothing to stick it together. <laughs> nothing. Love. Nothing. Love. They are, they are neither meat or tomato it's glue. glue. It's yeah, a tomato. pepper glue. You never smash a tomato up against a goddamn guy who didn't like the Celtics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and notice how it fell right off his face. <laughs> you gotta get them good vaudeville meat uh, tomatoes. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, this document uh, that we've been given has uh, 35 pages. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I believe have an analyst by Is that right? Is that right? Uh, yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, thank you so very much. Uh, Sacrament's fantastic. I am doing quite a bit of skipping. Um, I'm just going to tell you about the uh, raw Reese's cups. <laughs> oh, <laughs> But like, what if it didn't have the one thing that you want? Um, <laughs> cool. So, uh, so yeah, you're going to need a cup of uh, unsoaked almonds or nuts of your choice. Who gives a shit? Uh, a dash of salt and a, a, tea, a, a, no, a teaspoon of honey or agave. Uh, then you're going to need chocolate. Oops, I already fucked that up. <laughs> 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 Took four ingredients. Uh, uh, four teaspoons of coconut oil, uh, two teaspoons of carob, ooh. Uh, <laughs> and then sweetener. Uh, so to make the filling, uh, grind the nuts and the salt and food processor until the mixture begins to stick together, which would be about five to ten minutes. Don't over-process into nut butter. No. Nah. Why do not would Ron would do that? Why <laughs> not? Put them, because what do you want to make a peanut butter cup? Gross. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. <laughs> so you're gonna put that mixture in a bowl. You're gonna mix in the sweetener, uh, adding more if you like it really sweet. <laughs> if you like it sweet, make it sweeter. Uh, <laughs> mixture should be crumbly but able to be squeezed and shaped into eight Reese's size patties. I almost read panties. If not <laughs> ready, toss <laughs> it back into the processor. Reese's or the Reese's. <laughs> the coating. Yeah. You're going to soften the coconut oil, uh, if necessary, and stir in the carob. Uh, then you're going to sweeten to taste. You're just going to keep sweetening this fucking thing. <laughs> then you're going to coat it. each patty in chocolate and place it on a baking sheet. No need to grease. It's oil! And place the sheet in the fridge. <laughs> Fair enough. Transfer straight to garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave out, leave out of the fridge and just allow it to melt all over your counter. Mm. That's all. Uh, this next section. Uh, this next section, uh, Zarla. This next section is called "Teens Talking Trash" on VeggieBoards.com. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, snap. Uh, and uh, Zarla, you okay? You mad about something? <laughs> you see? Oh my God, you guys! I can't believe she said that. Oh. What did she say? Rant ahead. I'm mad. My best friend since first grade said something extremely rude. I told her I was thinking about going vegan. Then this is her response. <laughs> Me. Hey, bae, I think I'm going to go vegan. <laughs> friend. Uh, Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Unless who is going to take the friend? Oh, I'll be the RPG response. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He threw a bunch of dots at me. Me. Hello? <laughs> Well, you are not going out anywhere with me because it's going to be too much work for me to cook a separate meal for you. <laughs> so you responded with like a uh, I'm putting it in emoji? I'm, I'm putting it in the chat. Okay, there's a little bit of a delay, but I'm putting in the chat right now what this what the response is. Okay. Okay, chat. Chat get ready. 
That's, <laughs> it. Like, she, that's her response. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, giant arms out. WTF. <laughs> I don't know why. Can you send me that black bean burger recipe? It was really good. Oh, man. Buddy Brady <laughs> reminded me of my favorite porn actress. <laughs> <laughs> Turns around, <Black> ignores. <laughs> <laughs> Turns around, ignores, and mumbles under breath. <laughs> hey, other friend. Did you hear what I said to Anna Manga Addict? <laughs> well, now no, it's Tommy Wiseau. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it was ticked off. Like, how dare she have the audacity to say that to me? WTF. I never, ever said anything about all the idiotic stuff that comes to her mind. I always respect her when she says, can you please not talk about my food? I'm tried to eat. <laughs> Don't say that you come over to my house. I'm not going to cook a separate meal for you since you eat meat. <laughs> and then, uh, Bump Girl, your name is Little Tofu. I just believe that either of those individuals can cook. <laughs> uh, little Tofu. If you are going out, why would she need to make you food? Anyway, I'm sorry that your friend isn't being supportive. Over time, she will get more used to you being vegan and will realize it isn't as restrictive as she thinks. Whenever I'm spending time with friends, we just make pasta since usually that's vegan. Otherwise, I bring my own snacks. If your friend was talking about going to a restaurant, though, it's actually pretty easy to eat vegan as well. Sometimes my friends tell me to pick the restaurant because they don't know what I can eat. But honestly, most places are fine with substitutions and omitting dairy. She doesn't understand the bitching forum very well, does she? <laughs> Wait a minute, these are just complaining. I here am the, the only reasonable person on the internet. I did That's not think I existed. Founder. That's the unicorn. <laughs> so I'm Veggie Becca. I'm not vegan, just vegetarian and lactose intolerant. But my parents slash friends usually just do me pasta or pizza as if they are making something like spaghetti bolognese. They will just leave some plain for me or we will make pizzas and I will only have vegetables. I'm weird. I sometimes prefer pizza without cheese. I like That's not weird. You're lactose intolerant. Yeah. Pizza is a well-known vegetable. <laughs> you should just do me pasta or pizza. Donald Reagan, is that you? Yeah. <laughs> I serve a pizza a day. Well... <laughs> Uh, so I have a I have a somber tale. Uh, I have a somber tale to share you, share with you. Um, I hate my vegetarian friends. <laughs> oh no! I, I thought we were your friends. I thought we were better than you. I, I hate you. <laughs> oh, I hate Are you. you on our forum? I hate you. <laughs> well, you're not getting any of my pressed nut carob cakes. <laughs> yeah. That's why I hate you. <laughs> 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 What? They're delicious. I'll have one right now. We'll see, it's really good. Oh, God, he's trying to mushroom meatball. meatballs over here. Then <laughs> trying to pick up a meatball and it crumbled in my hand. Maybe this was the meatballs instead. I can't tell. <laughs> Listen, I'm a vegetarian through and through. I have wanted to be since I was five, and my parents finally let me. Obviously, no meat and no meat products like gelatin. But while I try to respect my friends who are vegetarians, I feel like they should make up their mind. Wait, what? They eat meat. They eat meat whenever oh, they are God. really tired or aren't paying attention. <laughs> like somebody's just talking about the bacon. No, in their what? Mouth. <laughs> Popped in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, oh, that's how I know. I mean, that's how I know. I'm going to be tired. <laughs> <laughs> Does this tenderloin have meat in it? <laughs> they will also eat it if someone prepared it for them because they think it would be rude not to. While I should be glad at least some of my friends try to make the effort. <sighs> I feel like I end up sort of like I have no real vegetarian friends to talk to and that they're calling themselves vegetarians to seem different and popular. Draw a have, line in the sand. Excuse me, shut up, because I have, I have a very important footnote. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sent from my iPhone using Tapa Talk. Ah. <laughs> we all remember those vegetarian cliques in high school. Yeah, the God. kings and queens. Those pseudo vegetarian cliques. Oh my God. Uh, I swear I saw her uh, eating yesterday. Lou, uh, you have a complaint about your omni parents. <laughs> 
<laughs> the all around parents. All parents. Lou, is your name Chibi Veggie? Because that's the best name for you ever. Chibi Veggie, Chibi Veggie here. <laughs> I, mean, I love my Omni Father to bits, and I'm a right daddy's girl. But he gets irritated when I won't have things that are not vegan, and it annoys me. Like, I'm ill at the moment, and he bought me some throat lozenges for me, and I'm grateful that he cares and all, but I checked the ingredients, and they contain carmine. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be sucking on insects. Carmine Lupatazzi from The Sopranos? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> carmine Gotti. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So that's where, that's where he was. Yeah. <laughs> Carmen San Diego. My dad, my dad snapped, saying he didn't know medication came into it too does anyone else have their problem with their omni parents slash family i'm sure no vegan kids <laughs> ever had problems with their omni parents or family this is the first time this has ever happened now uh actually uh bump girl i think calamity jane would be the best yeehaw <laughs> Where am I? Calamity or Jane. Did anyone do a supercut of uh, Jane um, and Sookie just saying Bill? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Does that video exist? Because I'm going to edit it if it yeah. doesn't. Bill. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my mom tells me to get over this phase, but respects me for it. My dad, come a brother and sister, like to tease me about it. And my grandfather told me, God put certain animals on this planet to eat. But if you don't want to eat them, it's your choice. But get me the fried catfish, please. <laughs> it's amazing how healthy that Omni is for 73 years old. The rest of my family I talked to either said, and I made a list. It's got two items. One, <laughs> it's good to be kosher. You acknowledge your Jewish roots, so good for you. Right. Two, so what do you just eat? Veggies? If you wouldn't eat the bacon, pass me the bacon so I can get your portion. Oh, my God. Six, six, I'm sensing some divisions in this family. <laughs> we got some fried catfish. We've got some kosher. Uh, but then we've got some bacon going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a cross cultural family here. Yeah. <laughs> also, I don't know why she has a dad brother. <laughs> well, certain areas of the country, you know. It's... Oh, yeah. right, right. I'm sorry, I forgot. Have yeah. you been to Indiana? I think that's what they call uncles over in the in the UK. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dad brother. Be dad brother. Okay. Uh, John Tos, uh, ooh, wow, we come, oh, no, oh, God, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah, the, uh, the, I was the rest of the doc is a landmine. <laughs> I was saving this one for the last, for the end, uh, but, but, but I, I, I refuse to not read this one. Okay. <laughs> because, okay, okay, so, John Tos, this thread is titled, I am not racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh no! I mean, sounds legit. I mean, a racist person wouldn't say that, right? Exactly. No, 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 no. If they are racist, they have to tell you legally if you ask them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh, yeah. So, uh, John, tells you not racist. Right. <laughs> uh, man, you know, I really appreciate you, Lemon. Uh, you're you a real pal. I you know, real you only say that because he's white. You fucking racist. <laughs> Well, I am apparently, unfortunately, veganic one, uh -huh. and I am not racist, but I have a racial question. Yay! Oh, great, great. First Let me get off, behind this blast shield here. <laughs> first off, I am mixed with this and that from my family tree. I appear Caucasian, but anyway, yeah, you're just you're just good, great. Just good opening story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm German <Yeah>. and Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not racism to have a BET channel, but racist if there is a WET or an HET Hispanic? Is there an HET and we all declared it racist? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I protested. I, was That's the wrong thing. <laughs> I mean, the first time all, like, when there were still channels. What if, <laughs> what if they called it, I don't know, uh, Telemundo or. <laughs> 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 How many decades do the children of those men that made those mistakes have to pay for them? Uh -huh. Oh, God. Seems I, uh, 
I get called white boy all the time, and it is acceptable. But if someone, but if I called someone bulk boy, <laughs> boom, <laughs> oh. shit would hit the fan. Yeah, yeah you, know? you can't say bulk boy anymore. That- no, bulk boy is right out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Miss Spelling. That made that way less uncomfortable. <laughs> you're saying like I bulk at things? Is that what you're saying? That's very <laughs> rude. <laughs> These aren't as bulk and white as they seem. Are you, <laughs> are, hey, are you a bulk boy? I resent the implication. <laughs> <laughs> I bulk at nothing, sir. Nothing. Um, now I know it is just the way things are. Just saying. Yeah. Just oh, classic, yeah, not racist fine. phrase. That's fantastic. Uh, Bunny Bright, tag him out for the second veganic one post. <laughs> oh, hey, how's it going, guys? I'm a. Oh, uh, I'm sort of communicated now. Sort of well, Damocles dodged. Yeah. <laughs> in, in Korea, guys, I wouldn't have the slightest idea, you know? I would figure that the dominant or most obvious race would be the prominent race shown on TV. Mm-hmm. I like With turtles. The- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, too. <laughs> <laughs> you just got yourself some white people. You know how you have the standard whites. Uh, yeah, you got to at least have I'm three. Not racist. I love turtles. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, hey, 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 folks, BET uh-huh. is very down. If you whatever you uh-huh. think of, uh-huh. it's bashing white people. Oh, just, you don't say. Yeah, no, no. I, I, I got, a, I got some points to make here. Okay. Just watch any stand-up special. Yes, it's comedy. Or anything from D.L. Hewley or Chris Rock. Which white is people. not stand-up specials. No, no, shush. White people this and white people that. Yes, That's I true. understand. It is That's for true. fun. I mean, D.L. Hewley and Chris Rock never make jokes about black people. I agree. Yeah, good point. He has. <laughs> find him. So, okay. But look, look. What happens when you use black people in a derogatory way? <laughs> and it joke, if it were you know, a joke, if such a thing existed. It we are derogatory. <laughs> Condemned for derogatory. I don't want to argue with you or anyone. I do say this, though. If it is geared towards black people, what is geared toward white people? Or, or Hispanics? Huh? Yes, there are channels for Hispanics. Oh, 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 someone recognizes that. <laughs> Well, but there's no <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, digress on that one. Although I they are lost in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> Where is something for the white people to enjoy? Oh, God. <laughs> 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 I like the guy who's like, what about there's nothing for Hispanics? Oh, wait, there is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Uh, this, never mind. That. From Mexico. <laughs> this friend's television show certainly seems very ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> Amigos. Watch, I mean, you can't, just, you can't just tune into the USA Network like at any time. <laughs> Uh, there might be a black person somewhere in Burn Notice. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> We've never seen an episode of Burn Notice, so we will never know. Just been standing behind Bruce Campbell every episode, apparently. Uh, <laughs> anything from this episode up plus? Uh, veganism is racist, I think. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I liked that they used the uh, price down the uh, the uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto font uh, in their in their forum. Uh, I mean, you know, it just I mean, it's echo chamber like anything else, right? Like we all believe in a certain thing. Okay, are they all gone? Okay, no, seriously. <laughs> no, seriously, my <laughs> friends really are all white people here. <laughs> I learned that if you're going to make meatballs, uh, you don't need meat, and they don't have to be balls. Yeah. <laughs> We're disrupting me. Very true. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Adam Bozarth, for uh, some fantastic art uh, for us to uh, be staring at uh, while these people uh, ranted. Uh, coming up in the next hour, uh, King Calamari uh, holding the pencils. Uh, JT Zarla coming back. Toast coming back. Isfahan's yeah. in. Uh, and uh, uh, some more st- stuff. Stuff. Yeah. I, I need, I need yeah. a smoke. Uh, <laughs> talk to you later.